In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove apostrophes and leading zeros from downloaded files from other programs. Quite often when you download data into Excel from other programs, you're left with a CSV that has zeros before the numbers and it has apostrophes before and after the word. It makes the data quite useless. Now, since this is a CSV, I can't save any code in it, but I have um, in my notepad plus plus, I have code that I use, and so I just bring it out whenever I need it. So what I'm going to do is on the developer tab of the CSV, I'm going to go and I'm going to go to Visual Basic and I'm going to insert a module. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my notepad and I'm going to copy this just numbers. And then I'm going to paste it in uh, in the file here. And then while it's there, we, we can't save it, but we'll just run it. And so we're going to run it. So we're going to click the run button. And there you go. All the all, except for the first one, I, I started on the second row. All of the uh, the numbers are just numbers or just numbers now. Okay, so the other thing is, is that you'd like to do the other column and take the uh, apostrophes out before and after the word. So I have another piece of code. And so let's go back to my notepad. And so I'll go down and I have, it's called other columns. And... This one is set up for column two, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. And I'm starting from the first row, so it'll it will take out from the very first rental. So let's copy this. And let's go back to our uh, module and let's go control V and paste that in. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put our cursor in front of that and we are going to run this one. There you go. We have all the apostrophes and all the leading zeros taken out of our of our CSV file. We won't be we won't be able to save it with the code in it, but you have the code and the backup. I will of course include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.